time to get your geek on. called All the Queen's Horses and it is about the largest municipal fraud in U.S. history and I was in the inaugural program for Diverse Voices and Docs and I developed this project in that program. The film is about a small town um, in Dixon called Dixon, Illinois. It's a hundred miles west of Chicago and in this small town their city comptroller embezzled 53 million dollars over 20 years and no one knew about it. So the film chronicles the impact that the city comptroller, Rita Cronwell, how her embezzlement impacted the town. And so um, when you have a fraud like this, it really raises a lot of questions. Who's responsible for finding fraud? Was it the auditors? Was it the city council? Was it the residents? Or was it the bank where her secret bank account was held? So the film explores all these questions. I'm actually an accounting professor at DePaul University. I'm a CPA and I have a PhD in accounting. And my research area is fraud and forensic accounting. So this was a natural fit following this story because this is my research area. In my day life, I go around the country and I interview white collar felons, whistleblowers, and victims of fraud. So when this happened 100 miles from where I live in Chicago, Chicago, I just knew it was a story that I wanted to tell. I was um, in the inaugural class for Diverse Voices and Docs, and so that's the program that I used um, to really flesh out all the ideas um, with the film. I'm a first-time filmmaker, and um, I'm a non-filmmaker, I'm an academic by training, so Diverse Voices and Docs is really what gave me all the skills that I need to, to complete the project. The documentary that I'd say that changed my life um, it's called In the Family. It's a Cartem Quindoc. And um, my, I come from a family that has a history of breast cancer. And that documentary really started me to think about genetic testing and the impact of the results of, of genetic testing would have on my own life. So that was really an important film for me. It touched me. And um, that was really important. That was a really important documentary for me. All the Queen's Horses is currently in its post-production stages, so fingers crossed, we hope we're done soon.